This is my starfruit tree. It is a Sri Kambangan. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And you can see all the flowers that are just loaded on here. And you can see this. These are some big, big fruit. I used to also have a dwarf Hawaiian that used to be planted real close. And I ended up getting rid of it because the fruit is just so, was so inferior to the Sri Kambangan, which is now the only one that I need, because this thing will make, it's a winter fruit, but it'll just make a, you know, at this size, you can see it up here, this will just make a thousand of these things, and that's not even an exaggeration. It will make a huge number. And you can see right here, we got a little bee doing some pollination work. Always great to see that. And just look at all those flowers on there. And look at all these little baby fruit on here. And the percentage of these that will actually ripen up is astonishing. It is an extremely high ripening rate. And that's Sri Kambangan star fruit. If you live in a place, I mean, you can grow these in containers so easily. They sell at, gro at the grocery store for just like a dollar fifty a piece or something. It's outrageous. You could probably grow this in a container probably anywhere in America. Maybe even in, in Canada, too. And if you live anywhere where you, uh, you know, zone 9A nine, nine or hotter, you could plant it right in the ground and give it just a little bit of protection on the coldest days. And you can just have an abundance so quickly with this. So that's Sri Kambangan Starfruit Tree.